the Surefire Stiletto and the Surefire Stiletto Pro. Let's check it out. Surefire makes really high quality lights. In fact, they're used by the US military, they're used by law enforcement agencies around the country, and for that matter, around the world. Uh, they're made right here in the US, and they're just good, dependable lights. And it built a really strong reputation. Uh, when the stiletto was first introduced, I was very intrigued. I mean, it's that flat design. It's really easy to carry in your pocket. Uh, and it really puts out a, a nice amount of lumens with 600 lumens with the standard and then they came out with the Pro which is a thousand lumens. It has an aluminum body whereas the standard stiletto has a polymer frame body. And so it's two great flashlights. There's a lot of features to these. You can program them in different ways. Uh, they're dependable. They are rechargeable. And so we're going to check these out head to head. Uh, the full review that I did on the stiletto, I'll have it annotated right above. But guys, light is your number one security tool, and it's important to pick a really good light. Now, typically, Surefire lights are more expensive, being made here in the U.S., uh, but the quality control is really up there, and they just have a great customer service. So we're going to check these out, and we're going to see which one might be best for you. All right, guys, we have the Surefire Stiletto Series flashlights, and these are really exceptional lights. Uh, one of the big reasons that flashlights are more of a cylinder than this flat design is because of the shape of the battery. And obviously with AA, AAAs, even CR123s and 18650 rechargeable batteries, they are cylindrical. So they fit down into a tube and that's the reason that it really dictates the shape of the flashlight. Uh, with the new lithium ion batteries that are being changed into different shapes, we're able to get some different configurations. And here we've got this really flat design which theoretically will fit really well in your pocket. Uh, it makes it just a little more comfortable. Uh, you know, it, it's just easier to carry. Uh, but one of the things about that is, is we still have the roundness of the lens itself. So while it's thinner on this end, it does have that round shape, and it's according to how you're going to carry it. Now, there are some differences between these two, and that's really what we're going to look at. Uh, I did a full review on the standard stiletto, which is now the EDC model. Uh, and, you know, it's a great flashlight. Uh, it's a polymer body. Uh, it has a nice steel pocket clip. Uh, it has aluminum here at the head because LEDs get really hot. It has a standard mode switch here, and then we have a tail switch at the back. Programmable capability, which we'll look at, and we have recharging capability. And so one of the things, though, about both of these lights are the batteries are encased and they're not removable. Uh, in fact, you'll have to send it back to Surefire, but these batteries take a lot of charges, and these will last for a number of years. But you can see that the, there is a size difference between the two, and if you put them head-to-head, -head, it's just a little bit longer with the Pro, but it makes it look bigger, <laughs> a lot bigger. This is actually 4.5 inches in length. This is 4.45 inches, so it's not really a lot of difference. Uh, here at the back, you'll notice that it's just a tapered design all the way through. Here with the EDC, it comes down, and there's a little bit of a flange right here uh, that just, honestly, I kind of like this, and we'll get into that in a minute. But one of the big things also that this does is this one has an aluminum body all the way throughout. And so that was one thing that a lot of people like, that just aluminum instead of the polymer. But it does add a considerable amount of weight to this flashlight. In fact, the regular EDC model is 2.8 ounces while the Pro is 4 ounces. But one of the biggest differences with this light is the lumen output. 
with this standard stiletto EDC. Uh, we have a five lumen light, goes up to 250, and then it goes up to 650 lumens. Uh, we do have strobe capability. Uh, and then of course, if you hit this back tail switch, it goes straight to the 650. If you triple click, then we go to strobe. Uh, so this is really a nice light. I mean, there's a lot of good features to it. It has the max vision beam. And so this gives you a nice flood. It's not really a serious hot spot. So it brightens out a pretty nice area. And so for EDC, that really works nice. Uh, but with the Pro model, which also has the max vision beam reflector, uh, it also has more of a flood, but it does have a little bit of a hot spot. And then with this, it's 25 lumens on the low, 300 on the next one, and then 1,000 lumens. So you're getting 1,000 lumens compared to 650 on turbo. Uh, and again, with the tail switch, you go straight to 1,000 and then triple click and you go to strobe. Very simple, very simple interface. I like it. Uh, I like the texturing on the Pro a little better. It does have some texturing. <laughs> Here, there's just some little lines on the side. Uh, but one of the things about these lights uh, is that they are very flat in the hand and they fit good. Uh, they fit good in your pocket, but there's something about the ergonomic shape of this that naturally is not a cylinder, so it's more flat and it seems to fit in your hand very nicely. Uh, this could be used as a self-defense tool as well, and I think you'll have a little more control over it than you would with a standard um, you know, round flashlight. But what I do like about these ears is if I grab this, however I want to grab it, uh, it gives me a little bit of um, resistance here so it doesn't slip forward in my hand, and that's what I really like about that. But the lumen capability of the Pro is definitely advanced over your standard EDC model. Uh, one thing too is these clips, which these are really nice steel clips. Uh, with the EDC model, you can't switch it to bezel down. Uh, with the Pro model, you can switch this to bezel down, bezel up, so it gives you more options according to how you like to carry it. Uh, one of the things I like about the bezel down is if it's in my pocket and I pull it out, I'm ready to hit that button immediately. So I don't have to turn the flashlight around to get to it to be able to access the modes. Now you can see that the reflector in the Pro is larger uh, and it's a little bit deeper. Uh, with the EDC model, uh, you can just see the comparison between the two. Here they've changed the buttons a little bit. Uh, they've made the program button a little bit larger and they've made the mode button a little bit smaller, which is kind of unusual. I like this mode button uh, to be able to or turn on the, the different settings but this works really well. And then again, if you wanna press this, you'll notice that this light turns green. And this is your fuel gauge, LED fuel gauge. Uh, it's your battery monitor or indicator. And it goes from green down to yellow when it gets about half power, and then it goes down to red, and then it goes to flashing red as well. And the standard EDC bottle has the same kind of setting. And then the charging port is just under this little rubber boot. And so you have it where it's going to seal that up and then it just protects it. And we're going to talk about that particularly in just a few minutes because this is rated for IPX7, uh, which means that it'll go at a meter of water for 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, we, we had some issues with that and we're going to talk about it. The tail switches, I really like this button on the tail switch and it's just momentary. Uh, it never will be just constant on. So it's just for a few minutes. If you need it, you can hit that. And with a program button, if you just press it uh, and you hold it down between two and five seconds, it will go into a medium setting strobe. And so it's on and the way to cut it off is to go by to your mode section and then you can hit that. It'll shut it off. Then it does the same with the EDC model. You just hold it down and after about five seconds, it's, there it goes. It takes a little time. And one of the things I like about that is when you hit the mode button, it doesn't do anything until you set up for the programming. And so if you're just picking it up and you hit the mode button, it's not going to do anything. Hit the lumens. It's not going to reset your flashlight. Now you'll notice that it's low, medium, and then high. Now we can change that with the button. Now to program the light to go bright to low, you just press your programming button, wait till it turns blue, and then hit the button. Uh, and once you do that, it'll go from high down to medium, down to low. And so again, high, medium, low. 
So you just have to decide which direction you want to go to. Me, personally, I like to start out with the lower setting. Uh, but maybe if I'm in law enforcement, I want to start out with the high setting. So I may just may just be easier to hit this button first instead of going into the tactical switch. And so it gives you just a couple of options. And then to get out of that, we just press it. When it turns blue, just press your button. And now we're back to low, medium, and high. It's a very simple interface. It's the same thing with the Stiletto EDC model. And then if you want lockout, let's say you don't want the light to come on. So what we do is hit the tail switch and the mode side switch at the same time. And you'll notice that it just flashed. Now we have no light. Uh, to change that, just hit it again. And now we have light back on. Uh, so a very, again, very simple, even though this is programmable and a lot of people love it. <laughs> and some guys are like, just keep it simple. This is a simple way to program these lights to give you more capability. For the Pro model, it's 23 and a half hours on the 25 lumens. And then if you go up to the next setting of 300 lumens, it's an hour and a half. Go to the next setting of 1,000 lumens, and it'll go for one hour. That's pretty impressive for 1,000 lumens. With the EDC model, uh, low is for 30 hours. Medium is 2 hours. And then high is 1.75 hours. 78 meter beam distance, 142 meter beam distance. But one of the things about both of these lights is because they do produce a diffuse kind of broad beam, uh, they don't really get out to distance that far. But it's according to the application you're looking for. Now here we have the five lumens. We're gonna go ahead, There's you really don't see anything out here. It does give a little bit of light but uh, by the naked eye, but not really with the camera. Go ahead and go up to the next setting. This is 250 lumens, and it's not bad. I mean, it gets a lot of light out there. Um, you know, it just kind of brightens up. There's no hot spot. It's just a nice diffused uh, flood around the light. And this is great just to be able to see around. Then we'll go up to the 650 lumens, and now we're at 650. And you can see, I mean, it does put out a nice amount of light. And th that little tree line right there is about 20 yards off, so it's not that far. And here we have the Pro model, and uh, we're gonna just try it. We're gonna start out with the low setting. Now with this, it's 25 lumens. So you're getting a considerable amount more light, and you can see it out there. Uh, but in, with the naked eye, you can see it a little bit better, but you can see that tree coming up. Now let's go ahead and go to the next setting. And this is 300 lumens, nice and bright. I mean, it puts out quite a bit of light in this general area. Now we're gonna to go to the 1,000 lumens, and it's definitely considerably brighter than the standard stiletto. And let's go ahead and do a little comparison. We're gonna go straight to the, the brightest setting. Here we have the standard stiletto, or the EDC stiletto, and then we come in with the Pro. A lot more detail. Um, still has diffused light a little bit of a hot spot but not much but it's definitely brighter than the 650 lumens versus a thousand lumens now we're going to hit the tail switch and of course you go straight to that full lumens you can see definitely considerably brighter and then here we have the strobe setting with the pro Strobe setting with the EDC model. And again, you've got to keep that tail cap pressed to maintain it unless you program it with it constant on. Now you can see here we have a fence line and it's pretty dark. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the EDC model. You can see the fence and you can get a little bit of detail, it's not much. Uh, now we have the 250 lumens. It's nice. It really gives a nice bright uh, spill and it's got that diffused beam. Then we're going to move it on up. There we go, 650 lumens. I mean, that's not bad. And for close in areas, you're really getting a lot of light. Now with the Pro, we've got 25 lumens. That ups it from the 5 lumens of the EDC model. And then we're going to the 300 lumens. It's going to give you a little more light than the 250. 
And now we're going to go to the thousand lumens and this really does brighten things up quite a bit. I'll tell you, you know, you just back it out a little bit. You can see it, it's getting some light all around. You can see the wall on the outside, but it really kind of cones out and gets that light out there. Here with the EDC, I mean, it's a much more narrower beam. We're still getting a lot of light out there, but you can see that darkness. And, uh, you know, with the Pro, it just gives you more light out there. Now we're gonna check out the new Olight arc field. This is a brand new light from Olight. It has a thousand lumens, just like the Pro. And so we're gonna go ahead and just see how this works comparatively. Now we're at the thousand lumens, and this is the arc field. Here we have the Surefire Stiletto Pro, and then we have the arc field. And the arc field really puts out a lot of lumens. Uh, I think that the Pro, though, puts a little bit more spill on the outside. Seems to have a little bit more of a hot spot. And here is the arc field. Uh, but honestly, overall, um, you know, I think the Pro. Well, it's a really good light and I think it's a little better as far as maybe the candela, maybe it's putting out a little more light on the outside of the uh, hotspot area. Arc field's doing pretty good. And we did a review on the arc field and I compared it with the Surefire Stiletto Pro, but um, gives it a lot of light and honestly this light runs about 80 bucks. Uh, Surefire Pro is coming in at about $230. But it is made in the USA and it's a good solid light. Hey, with the standard EDC model, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our light. We're gonna get a little distance. Here we have the 650 lumens. Now this is only 78 meters of throw. And while I can see a little bit out of that tree line, which is over 100 yards off, you're not really getting any kind of detail. It does light up a general area, as you can see, but uh, you know, out to distance, because this is a diffuse beam, you're not getting a lot of detail. Now here we are with the Pro, and nice wide beam. I mean, the beam is definitely wider on the Pro. Uh, getting a little more detail on out to distance, but I can see the trees from here. But to be honest with you, I mean, it's still not a big thrower. And it's got a short reflector, so you don't really expect a lot. But this is 142 meters of throw, and I would say that's stretching it just a bit. But you're still getting some good light out there. I mean, this will light up a large area. Drop test complete. Impact test complete. Now we've had a couple of lights that have been introduced that are more flat. And the first one that followed up with the stiletto is the Streamlight Wedge. Uh, it is a thin light all the way down. So you're not gonna get that bezel effect you're getting with the Pro. Uh, but it's a more simple light. And one of the things about this light is it's really long, but that also makes a great self-defense tool. But right here is your, your switch. And so you just turn it on and it's 300 lumens. You hit this turbo switch and it goes to a thousand lumens. But as soon as you let it go, it drops off a thousand. So if you're gonna look at something at a thousand or you need that much light, you just keep pressing that button. And then of course, you just turn it off. And pretty much it has a pocket clip and it has some texturing, but that's about it. It is pretty simple, very easy to use. And then we have the Olight Arc Failed. 
Now, I'll just be honest, this light has been my regular EDC ever since it came out, and it is super flat. Uh, you've got your clip, and it's deep pocket carry. And one thing about this light is it has two uh, different modes of light and laser. And so as we see the light press and hold, we get that real low moonlight setting, and then it just goes up in lumens, and it gets up to 1,000 lumens, <laughs> and it's really bright. Uh, and then, of course, with the laser, it's mainly a laser pointer. And so here, we just have the laser. It's a green laser. It's very intense. And it's just a pointer. Uh, one of the things some people have complained, they said, why do you want a laser on your flashlight? Well, why not? <laughs> I mean, you don't need to use it if you don't want it, but it really is great, especially if you have cats or dogs and you like to have fun, or you want to point out something that somebody just can't see where you're pointing. Uh, and there's other things about lasers. I just think it's a cool option. I'm glad they put it on there. But this is a rechargeable capability at the back. And this has just your USB that clips in. And we're going to be doing a full comparison review between these because these lights kind of fit in the same genre. Now it comes with this really short charging cable. And again, we have our little boot right here. Pop that open. Just take the cable, insert it into the port, and then you can just plug this into any USB. I think that this cord needs to be about three times this long, but this is what you get. And if you're like me, I've got a bunch of these cords, so it's no problem. But this will charge the light. Now, one thing I want to show you with the boot. Uh, you do have this little seal gasket that'll fit down and around, and it should secure the light. Uh, here with the um, original EDC model, same thing, same kind of system. And it has that same boot. Uh, I'm going to tell you one problem that we had with these lights. Uh, when I put the EDC light in water, it was fine. And I did the review, and it was great. A couple of days later, it quit working. Uh, I just couldn't get it to work. I, you know, I even looked under here. There was a little bit of water. It had gotten into the port. I ended up having to send this back to Surefire. And they immediately, it wasn't long, they sent another one back. Uh, so... Then I went to the EDC Pro. Uh, knowing that I'd had problems with the original, I was a little bit concerned that we'd have the same problem. And we did. Uh, the only thing is, is I put it in the pool, and it wasn't for maybe 15 seconds. And when I pulled it out, it cut off. Uh, and then I charged it to see if I could get it to come back on, and it would come on for a little while, but then I couldn't get it to shut off. And then it shut back off, and it was back and forth. And then, so I did send this one back to Surefire. In fact, my first model, and you know, with all the uh, torture tests that we did on this light, uh, you know, it was really beat up. But when I sent it back, they replaced it. Uh, but it took me two times getting in touch with them uh, before they actually acknowledged it. So, uh, you know, I filled out the form, sent it, and then um, they sent it back fairly quickly after the second time I got in touch with them. But I was a little bit disappointed, honestly, because I'm a big fan of Surefire. I like their lights. And so I just want to say this. These are great lights, and I would confidently carry these lights without any problem. Uh, the only thing I would be careful of is not to get this submerged into water, because honestly, this just won't hold up, at least both of my experiences so far. If you've had any problems with that, you can leave it down in the comments. If you haven't and you've put these into water, then you know leave that in the comments as well. But when I was getting ready to put this one in, I was double sure. In fact, as I was walking over, I was just pressing this boot to make sure that it was down because I was afraid maybe I had not put this one down correctly. Uh, so just one of those things for you guys to watch for. So guys, just a small recap of the differences. Aluminum body, polymer body. 650 lumen total output, 1000 lumen max output. Uh, both are programmable, both are rechargeable. Uh, one is just a little larger. The Pro is just a little bit larger than the EDC model. Clips can be switched to the other side on the Pro, but not on the EDC model. Uh, and those are pretty much the main focus points. Uh, you can get a little bit more beam distance with the Pro. But honestly, overall, these are excellent lights. Now, the price is definitely something that is a little more expensive than the other two that we've shown. Uh, the standard EDC model uh, retails for $149. You can typically get them for around $120 to $130. 
uh, here with the Pro model, these retail for $230. And I've seen them for getting close to the $200 mark. I bought this one uh, a while back and it was about $200. In fact, I think it was $210. And so you've got a considerable amount of money that goes into these two lights. And so you have to weigh that out as well. These are made in the USA, which gives it a plus. And Surefire stands behind their products. I can tell you that because both of these have been sent back and otherwise, I have a number of different Surefire lights, and they are almost indestructible, typically. So, I was a little bit surprised at that, but, again, there's not many times I'm going to dip this underwater for any length of time. But just make sure you have that rubber boot down, and again, just don't drop it in a puddle. And guys, the price on the wedge is typically about $80 to $90. Uh, with the Arcfeld, we're looking at about $79. Uh, and one thing, though, that I love about the Arc Fail, though, is the charging capability. And we put this underwater for a long time, and we never had any issues with it. This is my EDC. It's continuing to be my EDC. And uh, 1,000 lumens matches the Pro. So, uh, again, it's just great to see a number of different lights out there on the market, and especially with this technology of this flat design. So, guys, the Stiletto... 600 lumens polymer frame body but yet programmable and rechargeable and it has a lot of great features or the stiletto pro which is an aluminum body with a thousand lumens and really a little bit more weighty but it really ha is a high performer the price is definitely a difference uh, with the stiletto with it being about 120 dollars market price and then the stiletto pro which gets it up to about 230 dollars but you've got a lot of performance and you have surefire name standing behind it but the flat design makes it really easy to pack away. It makes it easy to go into your pocket. And that to me is one of the biggest pluses for these lights. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Programmable switches here. They're a little bit different. We'll take a look at it. And we also have we also have this. They have dancing, the dancing stilettos um, a while back, and I'll have it annotated right above. Made right here in the USA, and they're just okay. And I'm still shining. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to win because I'm metal. My magnet. Where's my magnet? All right, guys, we have the Sur Surfire. We have the Surfire Saletto. It's row. In the dead of night, love bites. The Surfire Stiletto and Stiletto Pro. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> I've never heard a dog sound like that. I'm not even sure it's a dog. 